Karen with Food and Family. Christmas is just a few days away, so it's time to get started with my baking and my candy making. I'm actually a little bit late getting started, but today we're going to be making shortbread cookies. They're easy, they're delicious, but we're going to melt some chocolate, dip them in the chocolate, and then sprinkle them with these pretty little Christmas sprinkles. If you can see those, good. And they're gonna be delicious. So let's get started. I'm gonna move you so you can see in the mixer and see exactly what I'm doing, okay? So hold on a second. Here we go. Now, that way you can see down in there as I'm doing. <clears throat> We are going to start by adding three quarters of a pound of butter or three sticks at room temperature. Sounds like a lot of butter, but it sure is good. Three sticks of butter, one cup of sugar. Now we're going to cream that together. So hold on because it's going to be a little bit noisy. We'll get that going. Can you see that in there? I mean, how can it not be delicious starting out with butter and sugar, right? That is two of the best ingredients to start with especially when you're baking. When we get this blended, we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Use really good vanilla. This is the special time of the year, so you want to do, make it as good as you can get it. So, oh, that was really soft. That's printing well. So let's go ahead and add our vanilla. Oops, it's pulled over a little bit. That won't hurt anything. That'll just make it better. Because my granny would say it's better. So I'm going to stop here in just a second. And let's scrape the sides of the bowl. Because we want to make sure everything is getting incorporated. Yeah, this butter and sugar is so soft already. Give it another mix. There we go. So now, can you see what I'm doing here? I'm going to, I've got three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Regular table salt. Then we're going to, I'm just going to use a whisk and whisk it together, soften that flour up, get that salt incorporated all through the flour. You don't want to dump it all in. You'll have salt all in one spot. Some cookies will have it, some won't. So that wouldn't be delicious, would it? So get it all out of there. So then we're going to add this mixture to this butter and sugar mixture. So let's add some. I'm going to do it a little at a time because I don't want it flying all over my kitchen. We're going to mix it until this is mixed together. There's no eggs in this. There's no milk. We'll roll this out, and then we're going to chill it in the refrigerator for a few minutes. And then, when I say roll it out, we're going to flatten it into a disc and then put it in the refrigerator. And then once it's cooled, we're going to roll it out about half an inch thick, and then we're going to cut them out. I've got a pretty little square. I just like using a little square uh, cutter. If you've got different kinds of uh, cookie cutters, biscuit cutters, you can use those. I'm just using this little square one. 
It's about three inches, and that's the shape I like to use, and that's the size I like to use. Okay, so I'm gonna stop just a minute while we got this far, scrape it down. We'll finish adding the rest of our flour. This it comes together so quick. So, you know, there's no reason to go out and buy cookies. And then, oh, excuse me. When you can make them this quick and it's easy. A few ingredients, and I'm sure most of you have everything on hand. You wouldn't have to go buy anything. Now, if you want, you could probably chop up some pecans. I would make them fine and not dust, but chopped fine and add them in there. We're not doing that. We're just making regular shortbread cookies because I want to dip them in the chocolate and I can't have nuts. So, I'm, it's not allergies, it's my tongue, unfortunately. So, I'm going to clean the necks here just a little bit and make room to roll out. We'll cut out our dough into a disc. Can you see in there what that's doing? It looks so pretty, y'all. You think it's a lot of flour for that little bit of butter and sugar, but it's really not. So let's scrape it again, and we want to get this off of the beater, see? But when I put it out on the board, I'm going to flour the board, put it out, then I will kind of push it together and uh, kind of form it and it, it will, I promise you, it will come together good. Looky here, I mean, this is already coming together. Scrape off our, our paddle and our spatula. Get all that goodie down in there. That's kind of work it out the bottom sometimes I don't know about you, but my mixer don't want to get it all the way off the bottom. I know there's a screw back there that'll adjust that, and I'm sure I need to have that done. But we got to see what this will do. Just turn it up a little bit. It's picking it up pretty good now. Just bringing all that together. Yeah, I can see down in the bottom there, and it's picking up. It did. It picked everything up that I didn't think it was getting, but it is. That dough is so soft and pillowy. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I had a great day at work, and I come home, and I decided I'm going to get a batch of cookies made. I might make something else tonight. I don't know. Um... I'm just going to play it by ear and see what I want to do. I don't know if you can see. That is so soft and it's thick, but it's still such a soft and pretty dough. Let's get it all off of that beater. We don't want to leave any behind. There's no eggs in it, so I can taste it if I want to. But if I wanted to taste it with eggs, I can because I'm not afraid of them. I wouldn't give it to a baby or an elderly person. All right, can you see that dough? Let's get it off of this mixer. Can you see how pretty that is down in there? Looky there. Now I'm going to flour this board just a little bit. Take my hand and flour it. We're going to plop this. Come on, plop it right out. There it comes. Let's get the rest of it out of there. We don't want to leave any dough behind. Look there, how pretty. My hands are clean, y'all. I've washed them before I came on. You didn't get to see me do that. Look, and that's just shaping up. 
If you could feel this like I'm feeling it, you would understand what I'm saying, how soft and pillowy this is. It is just a beautiful, beautiful dough. So I'm going to get some plastic wrap. Looky there. That's going to make a lot of cookies, y'all. Get some plastic wrap and so we're going to put my plastic wrap. Oh, it's down here. The box was too big to fit in my drawer. Get me a big long plate piece of plastic. And I'm going to wrap this up. You don't have as hard a time with plastic wrap as I do sometimes. It just does not want to cooperate with me. Let's do this. See, <laughs> let's try this again. Get a piece of plastic wrap. I fight with it a lot. Damn, maybe that's going to work. Come here, you beautiful dough. There we go. We got it. I'm going to wrap it up really, really well. See? Now, see what I've got here? That is going to make a lot of beautiful, beautiful cookies. So, I'm going to put this in my refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And then I'll come back. We'll roll them out. We'll get them cut out. And bake them up. They don't take long to bake. I've got some cooling racks already out waiting and we'll get them cooled and dip them in that wonderful chocolate and sprinkle them. So give me a little bit and I'll be back with you, okay? Hey yo, I'm back. Our dough, cookie dough, has been in the refrigerator about 30 minutes. Now we're ready to roll it out. See, oh, it's such a pretty dough. It's still soft. It's not hard. <clears throat> and we're going to, well, if I can get it unwrapped. You saw me earlier fighting with the plastic wrap. Okay, but I want to put a little flour on my board. Just sprinkle it around. Don't need a whole lot. Just enough to keep it from sticking. And I'm going to put some flour on my on my rolling pan. So it'll roll and not stick. And you'll have a mess of flour everywhere. I already have. I've got water on me from washing dishes after I left you guys earlier. You know what? That's okay. It's bird cooking, isn't it? So, we're going to get this rolled. Let's see. We can get it rolled out real pretty. Look at here. We want it about half an inch. I don't have a ruler in here with me, so I'm just going to kind of guess how thick I want it. The thicker it is, the longer it's going to take. To bake, but these are shortbread cookies. You don't want them real thin because we want to dip them in chocolate. We'll see how many we get out of this recipe. Oh my goodness, guys. Can you see what I'm doing here? Let me bring you down a little bit so you can see. Can you see that pretty down here? I think I'm going to stop there. I don't think I want them any thinner. That's probably less than half an inch. But I think that's going to do good. They're not going to puff up a lot because they used all-purpose flour. I didn't put any kind of leavening in it. Other than this, just salt. But 
Okay, so let's get a little flower out here. So I'm gonna put a little bit in the corner right here because this is what I'm gonna do. I've got a cookie sheet, a baking sheet. It is not greased. So we're going to put them on the cookie sheet and then we're gonna bake them. Let's get them as close as we can and then what scraps are left, we can re-roll and see what else we can, how many more we can get out of it. You can always double the recipe. I find it's easier if I make the recipe as it is and then go back if I want more and make a second batch. You saw how easy it was how quick it was to bring that together. And I think that's all we're going to get. Let me grab a little spatula to try to lift them up so I don't want to tear them up. And we're going to re-roll. Oh, look. No, looky there. So I'm going to lay them out. I'm going to show you my sheet, cookie sheet baking sheet after I get them laid out. I'm not putting them, I'm not crowding them. Although I, I can put them a little closer together because they're not going to rise. They're going to stay just like they are. This is so pretty, y'all. And I know they're going to be delicious. I said I, I made them last year. They were a huge hit. I don't know if you're a shortbread lover or not, but even if you're not, I think you will enjoy these cookies. We've got nine so far. And I'm going to roll this back up again. I'm trying to get at least a dozen, and I'll probably get more. If I cut them right, I will. Let's just roll it. Roll it again. Try not to make too big of a circle like I did. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. So we're gonna roll, I'm gonna dip, and cut. I'm gonna get more than a dozen. I was hoping I would. We won't need the other big cookie sheet, but I'll get out a small one. Now see, here's, here's a dozen. See how pretty they are? That'll lay down what you see right there. Puffing up. It'll lay down when it cooks. So let's set this aside. And let me get a small, I just need a small oh, baking sheet for what's left. I don't need another big one. There's gonna be 10 of us for Christmas dinner. How many are you having? Tell me what you're gonna be cooking. We're gonna have the usual. Ham, we're gonna do turkey, dressing, We'll do sweet potato casserole. I cannot get away with it out doing sweet potato casserole. One of my daughter-in-laws would never forgive me if I didn't make that. And uh, deviled eggs. Gotta have deviled eggs, right? We'll 
we'll do uh, mashed potatoes and we'll have green beans and um, I guess I'll do some corn rolls. It's just going to be a good old meal. My grandson's home from school. He and his girlfriend will be here. I'm excited for that. My other grandson will be here along with his mom and dad. And um, this might just have to be an odd shaped cookie. Let's see if we can shape it like this. Because that's one way to do it, isn't it? Put the dough in the cookie. And hey, look, <laughs> not perfect, but I made a little, a little square out of the scraps. So we're going to get these in the oven. They're going to bake 20 to 25 minutes on a preheated 350 degree oven. So I'm going to stick these in. We'll set our timer. Both go in just like that. Set our timer. Let's set it for uh, with my stove. It's going to take probably closer to the 25, but I'm going to set it for 23. And I'll check them. They'll be light colored. You just want them just to start getting brown around the edges, and it'll get set. And we're going to put them on racks and let them cool really well. And then I'm going to melt some chocolate. I've got these um, meltables. They're little chocolate discs. I got them at the craft store. I'm going to melt some of those. We'll dip the cookies in them. And I'm going to put it on a rack and let them put it some those pretty sprinkles on them that I showed you. Let them cool. And then we're going to put them in a pretty Christmas box. So, I'll be back in a little bit when the cookies get ready, okay? All right, I'll see you in a little bit. We're back, and our cookies have cooled. And see how they're still kind of pale, but they're brown around the edges. They're soft, but yet they're stiff enough to hold up. So, we're going to melt our chocolate. I'll put it in this bowl here, and we're going to put it in the microwave on 50% power for one minute. And then we're going to, we're going to one minute, 50% power for one minute. Then we'll stir it. And as it melts, then we're going to go 30 second intervals. This way we don't burn our chocolate. But remember with chocolate, you think it's not melted because you're still going to see the shape of the chocolate. And as you stir it, then it's going to be melted and you'll see. So it doesn't take long to melt it. And then we're going to dip our cookies in it get it on our rack and we're going to sprinkle it with some sprinkles. We may even have to taste one before it sets up, but we're going to see how it goes. They're not a really sweet cookie. They're, they've got enough sweetness to it, but they're not overpowering sweet. And this chocolate is going to be sweet enough, but again, it's not an overpowering sweet. Sorry. Now see how they look. They're still like discs. Hold discs. Just stir them around. I know it looks like you're not doing much, but really you are. So we're going to put it back in. Once it gets started, it doesn't take long. And we're going to do 30 seconds. Again, at 50% power. It really doesn't take long to do it. Now they're really getting soft. So
What kind of cookies do you make for the holidays? It's just a few of our decorations that I put up in the kitchen. That's like my holiday decoration. Here we go. I think we're finished this time. Yes. This is done. Be careful with your bowl, so because it can be very hot when you get it out of the microwave. Now, see how smooth that is. Now, we've got a, I'm going to set that right there. I've got a, a pan with a, let me get organized here, a, a rack on it so that way they're not sitting directly on the pan and any excess chocolate can drip off and I don't think we gotta worry about excess chocolate. I'm just going to dip them like there. And we're gonna let any excess drip. Okay there. Now is that a prettier cookie than this. Let's do a couple and I want to show you how we're going to decorate them with the sprinkles. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. You can do this with white chocolate. You can do this with dark chocolate. This is, um, what is this? This is just Chocolate, it says. It's probably more like a semi-sweet or a milk chocolate. So, let me fix my hands just a second. Get that off, and we're going to use these pretty sprinkles that I showed you earlier. And we're just going to Sprinkle a few on there. Now, how pretty is that? And put these on a tray and set them out. And your family and guests will enjoy them, I'm sure. That chocolate will set up. It'll get firm. Put them in a pretty tin or pretty box. Give them as gifts. You can put them in a cellophane baggie and close it up with a pretty ribbon and uh, gift them to your friends, your co-workers, um, neighbors. I'm sure they would all enjoy having some. So I'm going to finish this, finish dipping these cookies, and I'm going to come back and um, show you what they look like or I'll put a picture in the description box so or i'm sorry in the comments below the description so i will get these finished up i appreciate you being with me today please like and subscribe to my page share my videos and come back and visit and we'll see what we have next time going okay all right, thanks for joining me. Bye, everybody.